Hello and welcome back to Metaphor Refantasio. We have cleared the cathedral and that means that we're now looking for new things to do because, well, there is something happening on the 22nd and, well, nothing else is really going to happen until then. What can we do? Well, we can speak to companions, we can potentially raise our stats, basically all the things we could do before except now we can speak to companions. So let's have a little look at our calendar and see how many days that gives us. So that gives us like six days, seven days maybe if we can do it on the 22nd. So yeah, reasonable amount of time. And I definitely think that we should spend at least three of those days with our companions. By that I'm meaning we should spend a day with Stroll, a day with Hulkenberg and a day with Maria. Just to see what unlocks if you do your bonds. Ideally we want to get all the bonds to max by the end of this playthrough. So we're going to want to probably prioritize them on most days. but. We'll see where things get to. We also know that there is another bond available for us potentially because in Traveler's Voices we've seen that we can spend time with Brigitta. Also I've noticed that Maria is not available in this, uh, in this, uh, sorry they're called supporters not companions in this one, but Maria isn't available which implies that she might only be available in the evening which would actually be great because that gives us a time when there's less available for us to hang out with her which seems good to me. We also need to go to the Tradia Desert at some point, which is another dungeon. I'm kind of interested in whether it's easier than the Belika Corridor, because I suspect it probably is. I suspect that the Tradia Desert is going to be effectively this game's version of Mementos from Persona, or Tartarus from Persona 3, or something of that nature, where it's going to be the one that you go back to a lot. Or that there's going to be a zone in each of the areas you go to that is a similar type thing. So um, it'll be an area where we can basically just kill monsters to level up and make and get equipment that potentially we didn't get during the uh, main dungeon. So yeah, we, we've got a lot of options available to us. So I think we should go to the desert at least once, spend time with, I guess, Brigitte, Stroll, Hulkenberg, and then Maria, which... If we're doing all of that during the day, basically fills up our days. So we'll see, we'll see. Also, I do still feel like we're in the tutorial of the game. Um, and by that I mean we've obviously had the first part of the game, which was linear, right? It was completely linear up until um, the assassination attempt, basically, right? Then it's opened up and it's given us the calendar, but it's not given us a lot of days to work with, and it's given us a very limited amount of things that we can do on each day, um, and it's opened up as we've done more things. So we do a quest, that's unlocked the Beliga Corridor, that uh, basically gave us that kind of loop, and it gave us a self-contained tutorial for how they're going to give you side dungeons. Then we had the, the main dungeon, and it opened up bit by bit, showing you like some side content that you can do in them. And basically, this is how every Atlas, well, every pers I guess it's not really the same for SMT, but it's how every Persona game has played. It gives you a very small amount of stuff at the start and then it gives you a little bit more each time you move on. To the point where I think we were 140 hours into Persona 5 Royal and it hit me with a tutorial and I'm like, by this point you probably should have told me all your mechanics but we'll, we'll figure out what um, new stuff you've got for me. Anyway, um, just because I want to know what Galica thinks, what should we do? Okay, um, supporters? Oh, right, so this just lets us teleport there. Okay, I thought she might give us a suggestion, but I guess not. Oh yeah, also, are we higher in popularity yet? Yes, look at that! Um, I was wondering, because we got a couple of missions complete, whether our popularity rank would have gone up. We were 8,000 something previously, right? So now we're 6,000 something? I mean, it's still not very high in terms of ranking, but it's a lot higher. Okay, we are a shunned outsider. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Right, hello. <laughs> Overheard your conversation with Fabienne from out here about how you dealt with the human. But don't worry, I won't tell anyone. Unless you want me to, that is. If I may say, I genuinely think what you did was amazing. You protected our city for us. We should all be grateful. Okay, that's cool. Uh, I wonder if there's going to be any more uh, dialogue relating to the fact that we've done that. 
Don't see anything out here. I assume that there won't be anything until... Ooh, actually. Hello. Seems the trouble at the Grand Cathedral has been settled. I heard a soldier... Uh, I heard from a soldier I know that, apparently. They saw folks controlling the mysterious magic powers without using nighters. Quite an intriguing tale. That's just a rumor, right? Ho ho ho! You'd find no fault in thinking so, young man. In today's world, magic and igniters go hand in hand. When I served, I heard plenty of stories about the Annex War. Granted, big igniters at the time weren't as developed as they were now. I remember one tale about a mage who could use real magic. Even involved some secret ritual or what have you. I'd hoped to witness it at least once before I died. It seems slinking round the magic shops the closest I'll get. Hmm, I wonder if we'd offered whether he would have said yes. Also, alright, we can't scare the birds away. That's fine. Um, oh, what have we got going on here? Hello. This man is charged with the murder of a Tlemar woman. The distressed man came upon the woman at night and... Damn fiend, just kill him already. Hmm. Did we do anything about this? Much as I'd like to, we can't just step in and stop them, though. Let's just get out of here. Okay. Well, Moore apparently has chosen a spot where he can see. Well, I suppose it might get boring in his room. I thought I saw something in there. Oh, you see, I thought this was a uh, speech bubble above his head. It's just a painting. Ah. Oh, we got more people who are speaking new things. Oh, I guess not that one. Oh, hello. Don't talk to me, Elda. All right. Well, whatever. Hello. How dare they mock me? Every last one of them. Poxy, lousy, no good, rotten son of a goddamned if I had igniter eyed. Oh, okay. Who keeps saying, hey, listen? Is, is that you, Galica? I'm fairly certain that's meant to be a different game. Right. Hello. If you ask me, what a warrior needs most is agility and luck. First is agility. Not only to beat your enemy to the punch, but also for escaping when you need to. And luck, to put it bluntly, that's all that matters in the end. Cowards who lack courage, they don't go honorably, tell you that. <laughs> ah, even getting paid well is a matter of luck, innit? Just a theory of mine, but feel free to take it to heart. Okay, interesting. Um, hello. My husband said that the army slayed the monster under the direction of Santifex Forden. Oh, that's good. I suppose as long as we have Santifex Forden, we have nothing to fear. Okay. Cool. Well, let's head up. Oh, actually, before we head up, let's go to a shop. Oh, actually, before we go to the shop, I just remembered something. Um, I think I started an episode back here a little bit ago, and I don't remember if I ever picked it up. Yeah. I started an episode next to this, and I was like... Oh, I'll pick it up at the start of the episode. Completely forgot. There was another gold beetle there. Uh, just happened to find it while uh, running around. Anyway. Hello. Uh, I would like to sell you all of my junk, if that's uh, possible. That's a lot of stuff that we're selling. 40,000 means we can afford one of the more expensive things. I forget what they were exact or where they were exactly, but that's okay. Appraise? Yeah, we'll pay the money to appraise. So, that is an Iron Lance, which is not as good as what she's using. We should probably sell these at some point, but I'll work it out when we get there. That's Apprentice Circo, which is not quite as good as what we're using. Mundane Threads. Hmm, just not very good. Superior Mundane Threads. Uh, still not really as good. I mean, the evasion's nice, but... Yeah... Not really as good in the Rusted Bracers. Ah, oh, okay. I mean, I uh, guess they're fine, but they uh, not great. Okay. Well, we should probably sell some of that at some point, but we'll do it when we have a, something that we actually want to buy. You know? Until we have something we want to buy, there's not really any point in selling. I don't know why I got off of that. I thought, I guess, we were going uh, through a loading point a little bit earlier. Right. Uh... Nothing over there. Hello. Mom oh. hasn't come back. Dad said she went somewhere far away. Asked who was going to cook dinner and Dad started crying. Okay. 
Right. Oh, we got some gap, gap, gapping going on over here. Hello. Heh, <laughs> serves you right, you damn nobles. That's what happens when you waste our tax money. Stop it. What are you going to do if that knight commander hears you? Mm. Okay, interesting. Some uh, peasantry thinking about revolting. Okay. Nothing over here. Nothing over here. It's all pretty clear. Let's see what's happening with this fuss fuss up this way. Oh, nothing new. Okay. Um, just seeing here. Still those two. Hello. Doesn't look like the faces on the rock have... Doesn't it seem like the faces on the rock haven't moved? I think it's just going to be Santa Fix Forden in the end. If that were to happen, I'd feel bad for the previous king. Must have been loads of trouble putting up... Putting this stone up too. Okay. There's so many conversations around me. Phew, it seems like... It seems the human at the cathedrals have finally been taken care of. I knew that the state army in Santa Fix Forden would be able to handle it. This commotion caused by Luis is nothing to worry about. I have no doubt that the Rock of Faces will prove Sanctifex Forden's unchanging popularity. You are. So, you say, but don't you find it a bit odd that Luis's face is a similar size? News of the royal, fam no royal funeral incident must have already spread throughout the country, and yet... It seems many people still support Luis, despite knowing about all the ruckus he's caused. What are we to think of them? Say that. That aside, there's a strange rumor going about. I've heard the state army had, a mis had mysterious collaborators helping them with the human subjugation. Supposedly, they fought with strange magic that changed their appearance. Not even a nighter's work to boot. If that's true, then the human and those people... Better quit scaring people with such meaningless drivel, lest you'd like to end up in the gallows yourself. First of all, if that were true, then I'm sure they'd go around telling everyone about all of it. About all about it. But isn't it strange that it hasn't become a big enough topic for their faces to show up on the rock? Look at that. People are confused. Well, that is a good point. Although I guess not many people know that we did it. We did move up the rankings, though. Let's go back. Oh no, I didn't want to go to the Grand Cathedral. I just wanted to to take a closer look at the rock, honestly, to see if I could see any other faces, because there were some earlier. I guess the tiny faces don't really show up on it. Okay. Hello. Hello there. Uh, how are things? And Cathedral. We're still a ways from taking it back, but at least for now the human's been taken care of. I cannot say this publicly, but it's all thanks to your assistance. Allow me again to express my gratitude. That's so nice. Okay. Oh, do you have new things, by the way? I need to buy more uh, stuff. Nope. Cheers. Well, anyway, if you make any more fruit cordial, I'll buy it all. I'll buy it for double price, if you got any. Just letting you know. Right. Uh, hello. Take me for a fool, do ya? Damn that, Luis. How dare he disgrace Sanctism. He does have his defenders, though. Those tribes and pagans that abhor Sanctism are truly... Ah, uh, best to leave those people be. Only ignorant fools would be feel inspired by the likes of Luis, no? And that's a good point. If you're not a fan of Sanctism, you really don't want Sanctifex Forden to be the next person in charge. I mean, that's just logical. Like, if you're one of these guys over here, um, who have completely forgotten the... Mutari? We've got more of this to do. The Mustari. If you're one of them, then you, like, probably don't want Sanctifex Forden in charge. That sounds really bad for you. Anyway, hello. Uh, so, I don't think I need either of these, but I thought I'd just double-check if he changed. Memorandum. We do have some things. Senate. A council of sages who assist the king with political affairs formed upon the unification of three king of the three kingdoms. It consists of five members, the Prince of Montario, the Prince of Oshinna, the Royal Army's General, the Head of the Crown Theocracy, and the Head of the Igniter Consortium. Okay. The offices are held by different individuals but have no set term, while each member is theoretically equal in rank and voice. The influence of the Crown Theocracy has been increasing for decades. Okay. So looking at that group there, so... Prince of Motario. The Prince of Ocena. The Royal Army's General. The Head of the Crown Theocracy and the Head of the Igniter Consortium. 
So the general's got to be the guy on the right, right? The guy in full armor. That makes sense. We know who the general is, and we know who the head of the Crown Theocracy is that Sanctifex Forden. So it leaves us the remaining three positions. Hmm. Igniter Consortium. I would assume is probably... As you look at that, Igniter... Um, the um, Igniter Consortium, I'm guessing, is the person on the left. The reason I'm guessing it's the person on the left is they kind of dress differently, and I'm looking like they may be dressed a little bit like how Brigitte dresses. And she's uh, someone who sells igniters, so that, to me, makes sense. And then I'd assume the two in the middle are the princes, but I have no real idea. We need to uh, learn more. More specifically, ever since Forden took the office of Sanctifex and Sanctism became the state religion, Forden effectively became the Senate's primary speaker and representative, tilting the power balance. Okay. People. Town criers. Spokespeople for the Crown Theocracy. As literacy rates are low, they're also responsible for spreading proclamations and other important information to the kingdom's masses. Criers are often seen speaking on street corners of larger towns, even when no major event is taking place. Culture. Plushuri. An archaic word of prayer and sanctism. Every person in the kingdom, regardless of religious affiliation, is familiar with this solemn oath. It's an extremely ancient word that predates the Ukrainian calendar. Its exact origins unknown. Huh. Why do I get the feeling that might be important? Also, hello. Who are you? Luis's faction has left, but the Grand Cathedral is in a horrible state. The non-human monsters are still in there too. Closuri. Where do we even start? I can't believe Luis would do something so terrible. Okay. Well, let's have a look in here next. Because we should have bounties to take right. now. Accepting a bounty is not a bad idea. Plus, it looks like none of the soldiers from your recruitment interview are here. Well, I mean, a couple are dead, so... If anyone gets suspicious, we can fake it by mentioning Hulkenberg. Does that mean I can also speak to all these people now? Properly? Yeah. Have you heard the news? The state army defeated a human. Splendid, isn't it? This should free up the soldiers for a bit. Hopefully those wanted posters of... He is me. will catch their eye. Interesting. That's the second time uh, he said he's mentioned that person. Because they mentioned him last time. Okay. Um. Hello. Uh, the captain's gone. The Grand Cathedral's a mess. My work keeps piling up. Hmm? What? You here for the bounties? Oh sure, have a look. Slay bounty targets. You can accept bounty requests at the recruitment center. These targets are very powerful, but you'll be rewarded in kind. Bounty requests are added over time, so don't forget to check back. Now, I am wondering whether these can be added multiple times during one month, or whether they're refreshed monthly. Because if they can be added multiple times in one month, then it would make sense to do it all of these at the very, very end of the month, right? To do it when there will be no more. However, if they're added just during the month, or they're added like on a new month, or on a new like however many days that you get for each event, then it would make sense to just do them whenever, like whenever you've got a free day. It's interesting. We'll, we'll need to see. It's good you haven't been found out. Maybe I was worrying too much. Bounty. Well, I'll listen first. Each of these bounties are quite formidable. I wouldn't take them on unless you're really sure you're prepared. Oh, you only have one. Wait, do you? Yeah, you only have one. Maneater Manjula, Fiend of the Wastes. I need to slay Maneater Manjula in Tradia Desert, south of Grand Trad. The informant at the Hushed Honeybee Inn in Grand Trad should have more details. Okay. Huh? 10,000 Reeve just to defeat this monster? Guess they must really be struggling with it. That's what you want. This one caught your attention. It's a request to slay a man-eater Manjula that's uh, said to appear in the desert south of Grand Trat. Even though it has the run of the desert, it usually hides in the, its entourage of wild dogs. Take out enough wild dogs and it will show itself eventually. The military is short-handed, so this one's been difficult to handle. Still want the contract? Yeah. You're brave for someone so young. Okay, it's all yours. Go to the... D uh, get To get to the desert, go through a large gate south of Sun Lumio Street. After you walk a bit, you'll find it. Also, be on your only concern out there. You'll run into a swarm of sandworms if you're unlucky, so beware. As for the details, 
We're too understaffed to give you much, so go ask an informant. That bunch just rubs me the wrong way, though. Counting on you. You do somehow manage to slay Anjula. Bring back the rampage or trail as evidence. Or tail as evidence. Good luck, and try not to get yourself killed out there. Let's do it. Okay, man's not so best friend, apparently. Increases our courage. That's cool. So these increase your um, stats. Well, maybe they only increase courage, but um, that's interesting. So they're definitely worth doing, then. Like, beyond them just giving you money. Like, they're better than just spending your day increasing a stat, because you get stats plus something else. Basically, I think the way this game is working is if you get something that increases a stat, that is 100% your worst thing to do on a day. What you want to do is try and find something that is a stat plus something else, right? That's where you start getting some value out of your time. I am, of course, assuming that time is limited. It so far seems to be limited, much in the same way as Persona, but I don't know. There might be ways to uh, make it less limited later. Who knows? Hmm. I heard that monster at the Grand Cathedral was slain by the Royal Army. A masterstroke of his eminence, Forden. Truly, there is no one more fit to be king. Hmm. Okay, so Forden appears to be taking credit for our work. Whether he wants to or not. Thanks to the efforts of the Royal Army, the Necromancer's Rebellion has been quelled. Credit is also owed to Santifex Forden, whose inspiring presence rallied the soldiers and boosted their morale. No, no, he's totally taking credit. I understand. Once again, the one true god has rewarded our faith. Closure. 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 I'll say it event right cr eventually. I just need to hear them say it another ten times. Closure. Um, purify. So we have four blessed water, so we can get this all done. Fist of Salvation. I'll do it. What does it do? Increased damage against undead type monsters. Alright. That might be useful, um in the previous dungeon. However, we would have had to have leave we would have had to have left the previous dungeon to get it, so. The Serenity Scepter. Increases light uh, attack strength, huh? Yeah, it would have been useful in the previous uh, dungeon. Um, although again we would have had to have left. Sentinel Greaves. Uh, automatically increases defense at the start of combat. Uh yeah, I'll purify your equipment, that's fine. He needs that's still good. Yeah, I mean, I think that doesn't that give her a defense up twice at the start of combat? Would have been useful, but anyway. We well, might as well buy all of those. We should also consider potentially leveling another thing at some point. Especially if we're going to the desert, just to get some experience <laughs> spread around, but we'll see. Hello. The other day I saw them cleaning up that monster's corpse. The whole situation was a right mess. Feels like anything can happen now, what with no king on the throne. Definitely, mate. No telling how the Allied Kingdoms will react. What's going to happen if another country were to attack us right now? Interesting. Uh, do we want to head in here? I didn't fully realize that there could be another country who could attack. Well, I guess it could be one of the internal countries could attack, but I kind of assumed that everyone was kind of under one, but I must have made the wrong assumption. I don't know why I made that. Like, everyone was under one kind of group. Interesting. Yeah, we could definitely get one of these at some point, but let's not worry about that. Hmm. I guess it's just the three kingdoms that are merged, and there are other kingdoms outside of that, or other groups outside. I guess they don't have to be a kingdom. Hello. Oh, Closure. The royal palace is taken to the skies. It's also scary. Before, during times like this, I could pray for our safety at the Grand Cathedral, but now I can't even do that. Okay. Over this way. Hello. No, 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 I've had enough. I've heard there's still a monster about at the Grand Cathedral. A blast blasted, that blasted Elder Spawn is still about too. It's so ominous. It's also ominous. We're done for. Anyway, over here. Hello. They say the army didn't defeat that human. Huh. Look at you. Do you believe every damn lie you hear? Whatever the case, we know humans can be killed. They don't seem like that big a deal now, I think. You really think so? But if they're too much even for the army to handle. Okay. Let's have a little check in here. See if we've got anything new. 
You got chat chat over here. That'll be just fine. I heard Luis went completely mad, and I was wondering what could happen next, but it appears that everything has been cleaned up rather nicely. As long as we can live our lives far from any human, uh, this country will be safe, just as long as we place our trust in his eminence for it. Indeed, in the end, maintaining the status quo is the best path for this country. Some of the other tribes complain, but they should leave if they hate this place so much. Alright. Hello. What am I gonna do? Hey. Right. Yeah, uh... Nah, that's fine. We've already got our stuff from you. Ooh, what's, what's happening with you? Right. Ah, the Royal Capital's Ale is a unique delicacy, isn't it? Ah, oh, to think I used to drink myself sick from the cheap swill they peddled in my hometown. I shall never again disgrace my body by drinking that rubbish. Hooray for Grand Trad. What's, what's, what's up with this door? You, um, guarding this door for any particular reason? Hmm. Interesting. <sighs> Anything happening on the other side? No, just a random door being guarded. Huh. Okay, well, let's leave. Next place for us to go. Uh, over here, I guess. Right, so we've done this, we've done that. Right. Those are all done. Hello. Yeah, Monster incidents in the Tradia Desert are on the rise. It's not surprising considering all the folks traveling here for the royal funeral. However, the army's struggling for scant knowledge of monster ecology. But only we knew their weaknesses. Hey, there's a man in Sunshade Row who's versed in that sort of thing. That we'd have to rely on such a person, it troubles me. On, <laughs> Memorandum? Tradia Desert. A stretch of desert that surrounds the, gra the royal capital Grand Trad and extends further southeast. Though two to three decades ago the sandy plain was far, far less barren, the, re the recent rapid desert for desertification of the environment uh, of the environment has taken its toll. One theory suggests that Grand the Grand Cathedral blocks the winds from Ontario, which previously carried the sands to the river, and the resulting buildup contributed to the land's desert uh, desertification. Interesting. So the Grand Cathedral could be causing it to become a desert. That's um. Definitely not uh, a metaphor of some kind. Since the rapid changes in the environment, giant sand dwelling creatures have been sighted on and about the main road, never before seen near Grand Trad, simply raising public uh, concerns about the apparent deterioration of public safety. Wasn't anything else, right? No. Okay. Hello. <laughs> I heard someone slew that monster at Belika Corridor. Must be one strapping chap. Ah, uh, now we have no fears going round there. That monster slayer is our saviour, I tell you that. Anyway, that's what I heard. From a colleague of mine. Yeah, that'd be, uh, us. <sighs> a lot of lucky. Grand Trad was littered with corpses until recently. Not sure how, but it looks like it's all been cleaned up. Seems like we're safe for the time being. <sighs> He even pacified a human. It's the capsule, I suppose. If only they protected Halia half as well. Hmm. Okay, some more refugees from Halia. Amidst all the panic about the human, there's a rumor spreading about a chap out there who can wield a peculiar sort of magic. I heard about it from a guard at Grand Cathedral. Some power they summon outside of proper igniters, and they change into a monstrous figure or such like. This is such a... Nightmare. First there's a human, then a necromancer. I've had it up to here with all this chaos. Okay. Oh, you got any more chats chats to do? Nope, I think we're done with chatting. Right, let's head back down here. And now it's time for us to, I guess, find Hulkenberg. Because I kind of thought they'd be out and about, but I guess they're not. Maybe they're back in the inn? They must be back in the inn, right? Yeah. Well... Yeah, there must be. Let's see. What is it? Ah, they are. Also, people to speak to. Oh, also, we've got to do this as well. What Wait, uh, amazing? you first. Babienne doesn't show it, but I bet she has it. But I bet she has it just as rough. I heard Maria isn't coming out of her room. I hope those two will be able to keep it together. What is it? Hello? What in the Look, I can't get through a single day without a drink. We've all been dealt a shite hand in this life, haven't we? 
In other parts of the town, they can't shut up, shut up about Louisa the king. So let me ask you, even if a proper upstanding bloke takes the crown, is that going to fill my empty pockets? No way in hell, I say. People all got their ideas about what the country ought to be like, but at the end of the day, they'll never remember outcasts like us. Uh, hello. Fancy a bit of info. Yes, uh, I wish to buy your info. Oh, you got many bits of info. Alright, tell me about the Lord of Tradia Desert. Want in on this? Surely you've heard of that stretch of desert to the south of here. That's Tradia Desert. It lies beyond the large gate. Most travelers and cargo arrive at Grand Trad after making their way through that desert. Consequently, there's no shortage of people who have been attacked while traveling through Just it. Between us. They're harassed on the journey by a swarm of Valmo and giant monstrous birds. The threats are none too numerous to name. Our threats are too numerous to name, but the worst is the man-eater Manjula. Where it is, not only does it not only does its breath burn like fire, but it also spreads a foul poison. If you fight it, you should be wary of its howl. In addition to being resistant to the heat, fire magic is ineffective against it. The blaze only invigorates it, so mind your tactics. Conversely, it's quite susceptible to the cold, meaning ice magic is effective against it. You best remember that and prepare accordingly. Uh, that's about all I know. Unless you want to end up as another set of bones getting bleached by the desert sun, you better know when to run. Okay. Uh, I'll buy your other stuff in a second, but let's just have a look at that. So, actually, it sounds like mage might be good, right? Mage is fine. Yeah, we have ice magic. I think mage will be fine. I think mage is absolutely okay. I also think Stroll will be fine, although we need to remember not to use Stroll's um, weapon currently. We'd have to use a slicer and diagonal slice, because otherwise uh, he's going to do fire attacks. Okay. Hulkenberg? Hulkenberg would be fine as well. Yeah, I think we're good on everyone. We just take the archetype tree for a second. Uh, we'll just do it on us. I just want to see all archetypes. So Seeker probably isn't good, right? Yeah, Seeker is objectively bad because it's weak to fire. Brawler? Brawler doesn't add or take away anything. Merchant? Bad because it's weak to fire. Uh, and then, wait, Healer? Where's Healer? Uh, where is he? There's Healer. Healer would be fine as well. Okay. Except that Mage is obviously better. What's this thing? Like, in the middle, you can also do something as well there. Ah, I, oh, that shows you what you currently have on. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Um, uh, maybe. Wait, yeah, if you do that, I hear familiar this voice. Power. Oh, never mind. Uh, that's fine. Yeah, we, well, no, no, we've done this before. I didn't want to redo it again. Right, um, the other thing I wanted to look while, at while I'm in here is what's the requirements for the next level? So this one, we need to get Galica to level 3, which I suspect is going to be a story-based thing, and Mage to level 20. So actually, it seems quite possible for us to get the upgrade to Mage fairly soon. All we have to do is level it up another 13 levels. What do we need to get upgrades for others? Uh, we actually don't have the... well, we have some others. Seeker, we need to get to rank 20 and also get another rank in uh, Moore's one, which means that we have to do his next requirement. Uh, which I've forgotten what that is, but we'll check our quests. Healer, we need to get Maria to level, or to rank 3. Which might be possible, actually, because um, she should be available soon. And then Healer to 20 is going to be the slower part on that one. Don't know any requirements about Brawler yet, because we haven't taken it. We should take it soon, but we'll hold off for now. So, to get Knight upgraded, you need Knight and Mage. So, probably we want to be looking at Hulkenberg, maybe looking into Mage at some point. Maybe once we get Knights level 20. Or, actually, maybe this is a good time to get um, Hulkenberg into Mage, because we need more Ice Magic. And, on top of needing more Ice Magic, it's probably not going to be as difficult. So, we could probably switch. And if we need to go back to Knight, we probably can. Okay. Uh, and then, we have... Warrior, which we don't have, and Merchant, which we don't have. Okay. Let's switch to Stroll. So what do you need for your upgrade? So you need Warrior 20 and Rank 3 of Stroll. Okay. That's actually really possible for us to do, because he's already Rank 16 in Warrior. 
So actually, all we need to do is hang out with Stroll. So if we could ha Stroll hangouts seem so much more valuable right now. Yeah, Stroll hangouts seem really valuable. And then Hulkenberg, we already know what's going on with you. Yeah, so if we can hang out with Stroll, maybe that is something to do. Although it looks like only Hulkenberg is available today. Let's Stroll is somewhere else. Amazing. Oh yeah, hello. Fancy a bit of info. Uh, I'll buy your other stuff. Hey. There's a lot of ingredients available in Grand Trad. Right, if you want to cook something then, the butcher sells Badumi. There are other shops that sell red grass. The water shop sells pristine clear water. Well, same as any city really. If my memory serves, I've heard something about being able to make a dish from Fabienne's hometown. I want to try it out. Okay, so nothing new there. Red grass soup? Just between us. There's a stall at the market in front of the Grand Cathedral that sells red grass. You know, a herb that Fabian uses in a certain dish of hers. Matter of fact, red grass originates from the region where you'll find Fabian's hometown. It's not that far from Grand Trad, but the herb is difficult to find here. For that reason, the shop owner only sells it to his trusted regulars. Any stranger who tries to buy it will likely get shooed away. Oh, very nice. You're not a st no stranger, are you? You already know Fabian, of course, but you're also acquaintance with Griasis. So if that's what you're after, try mentioning him to the shopkeep. Get on that list of regulars of his, and you'll be able to obtain a fairly valuable ingredient. Okay, interesting. Amazing. Well, that's fine. Um, oh, so that's the one who kept saying, like, um, I, need, I only sell to my regulars, so you needed to get that information to do it. What in the place? I've heard that the previous king loved to travel. Now, royalty might as well live in a completely separate world from me, but I think I understand how he felt. I have no desire to stay in one place for any extended period of time. Maria. I will be responsible for Maria. I assure you, I will give her the best care I can. You all need to focus on your own priorities now. Amazing. You got anything else to say? Maria. Things are the same as always with Maria. If she could just keep busy, I'm sure it would help her clear her head. Maria. Uh, okay, so she just cycles between the two, same two lines. Okay, uh, let's do a save here in case this accidentally uses my time. Not that I think it will, but... Right. Uh, I want to just check our bedroom. Okay, I was just looking for Stroll. Although, interesting, uh, some of Stroll's things are there, I think. Maria is in bed. Best to leave her be. Okay. What is it? So you know that Hulkenberg is here. So where is Stroll? Um... I do follow her. I don't know. Maybe you, you just have to, like, use this. Hmm. Anyway, uh, we should hang out with Hulkenberg, because Hulkenberg is the voice we heard, right? So, let's hang out with Hulkenberg first. Ah, tis you. Ah, tis you. I know there's uh, little left to do but wait, yet that has me more restless than anything. Hail. Ah, that's right. Have you a moment to talk? Sure. The truth is... Lately, I felt a great pressure weighing on me. It's made it difficult to stay level-headed. I hope I might have your counsel. It must be dealt with swiftly, lest it affect my performance in battle. How would you cope with such burdens if you were me? If I was you? Exercise. You seem like you're more of an exercise than a book person. You seem like you're a... I'm going to sort my issues out by training some more kind of person. I see. Sound enough. And thus occupied with your exertions, your mind is clear of distraction. And how about it? Would you like to train in swordplay with me? Your technique is self-taught, I presume. This seems a fine opportunity to start you on some formal training. Hmm. I wonder whether, if you um, chose the other option, whether she'd say book, and whether you have to do both of them at some point. Also, what does check bond do? Does it just show you where she currently is, I guess? Yeah. And there's nothing... Currently, like in Persona, where you have to have like a matching thing with you to get a rank up by the looks of it. So yeah, I'll spend time with you. All right. In that case, we shall need some training swords to the weapon shop with us. All right. A fine balanced weapon, though. No? Tis for training only, but you'd never know it from the grip and the swing. <laughs> Tis most nostalgic. I once trained with that blade when I'd just become a royal guardswoman myself. It was not long after joining that I was assigned to the prince's retinue, so I was desperate to improve. 
I was younger, um, even, than you are now, and notably unskilled. Each night I would slip past our commander's watch, join a comrade of mine in the dark, and spar with him until our hands were calloused and blistered. Certainly. Some bouts I won, and some I lost, yet despite all the times we crossed blades, we never did see who was the better. Sounds like a worthy opponent. Well... <laughs> Nothing less. It was thanks to him that I improved by leaps and bounds. He swore we'd become royal knights worthy of the title, and rise to the heights of the order. We'd be champions. Surely you jest. God above, Hulkenberg, is that truly you? <laughs> so it is you, you've returned. Rodan? 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 What a coincidence. I was just speaking of a comrade and rival. This is the self-same man. Hmm. Hmm, and who is this pup? A friend of hers. Nice to meet you. I'm Graham, a friend of hers. Huh. You associate with this boy, disgraceful. Hmm? What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, I'm taking it back. You indulge in the company of this elder brat. You, once a proud member of the knighthood. Uh, Why does that strike you so? Absurd. I suppose like attracts like. The dirt suits a fallen knight. You... What? Oh, calm yourself, Hulkenberg. The commander of the Royal Knights is well within his bounds to judge your failures. Oh, so he's a commander of her group now. What? Commander, you mean yourself? Yes. While you wandered as a vagrant, I earned both our share of honors. So I see. And? And you! Clearly, you've already given up on pulling yourself any higher. What has occupied you instead? I pursue a mission, one that far outweighs any glory found in the Order. Whoops. Ah, of course. When you couldn't save the prince, any dignity you had as a royal guard was well and duly snuffed, wasn't it? I suppose you had little choice but to cling to your search for his shadow. <laughs> How dare! Choose your words with care. No need, I have nothing more to say. You disappoint me, Hulkenberg. Wow! I do Sorry. not like him. I do not like him at all. My apologies, I'm sorry you had to see that. What a scumbag. <sighs> Seems like a real scumbag. <laughs> he once spoke with more kindness than scorn. <laughs> I do understand his anger. Twas by my choice that our promise past diverged after all. But we cannot afford to lose sight of our priorities. I... Grem, let us fight onward in the name of his highness, his royal highness. That is the path I walk now. I can sense Hulkenberg's earnest faith and deep trust. Rank up! We're now rank two, Hulkenberg. And we get two new abilities. Knight Enlightenment reduces mag cost of studying the knight lineage. Guard duty. Hulkenberg may defend a protagonist from an attack on his weakness. That's kind of cool. The may, I would like to know what the percentage is, but it's definitely nice. It, effectively, what that is, is that is a, at some point in combat, you can take a bad choice and be given a free turn effectively, right? And I, I do occasionally like to have those. I like to have these ones where it's like, okay, we got a loop of turns, but if we get a free turn, then we can do this. This effectively gives us a turn with less damage where we could potentially do something else. Like we could potentially spend a turn buffing, where otherwise we would have to spend it healing. It's cool. It's not great because it says may and it's not under specific conditions that you can make happen, but it's not bad. Pardon me. I'm begging your pardon, but do you know that fellow who just left? Hmm? Merely an old friend. Well, don't s you don't say. Well, see you around. Who's that guy? Very well. Let us leave our training for another time. Yes. A hundred drills or a thousand swings, till t 
it will take an unsparing regimen to purge this distraction. Okay. Hulkenberg and I return to the others. Oh, and that was my mag. For a second there, I thought we were getting money, and I was like, what? But no, that's our mag that we are in via the conversation. I hear a voice. Ooh. He seems promising, but... Ah, Brigitte is available in the evening. Okay, is she the only one available? Yes, but oh, Hulkenberg has a thing. What does that mean? What's the thing mean? <laughs> why, do, why do you have she had a thing on her? Oh, her story's updated. Ah, in Grand Trad, she reunites with Rodanth, a friend from her knighthood days now promoted. Though he rebukes her, she believes in her path. Okay, cool. What is it? Um, well, I mean, we're probably going to go hang out with Brigitte because we don't really have anything else to do in the evening, so... Uh, okay. I'm more familiar with the city than you, so feel free to ask me anything. Okay, I will do, I guess, but in reality, I'm going to ask you nothing. Right, we're going to do a very, very quick scan around here. We also have really no reason to go ac to Academia now that we've got the ability to have a look at things, um, like, outside of Academia. Although, uh, what, what's his quest? Just because I completely have forgotten it. Gunner archetype, yeah. So, because we don't know what the gunner archetype is, like, how could we possibly, uh, like, do that one? Hello. <laughs> it seems the trouble at Grand Cathedral's calmed down a bit. Less guards means more stealing, eh? I will have our hands full for the time being. But who's this bloke who saved the Grand Cathedral? Must have been damn skilled. Well, we'll probably never run into him. Okay. Interesting. Another person saying, hey, listen there. Right, make our way up here and through here. Doing a little cycle. I'm assuming there's not going to be too much new after today, but there's probably going to be a bunch of new stuff today because um, we've advanced the story. Hello. Oi, might you be the Elder and, it's, and the Fairy I met at the abandoned mine? Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you are able to make it to Grand Trad safe and sound. Took the words right out of my mouth. Don't know what your circumstances were, but cutting through there wasn't a normal route by any means. <laughs> no matter though, seems we both made it. Grand Trad was in a bit of a rough state too, but things seem to be under control now. I have to say, the night market here is incredible as, el as always. Oh, I took a quick look, see, at their stalls, and they've got the best of everything in the country. Doesn't seem like a bad idea to stock up here and visit some villages. I reckon I can get help from that lot from before, now that they've stopped with their thieving. All right, then. I've even found myself a new vein here. Fast as that was, looks like I'll be doing my business straight and respectable like for the time being. Oh, cool. Hello. Looks like the mess of the Grand Cathedral's been resolved. That's mean it's all over. The human may be gone, but monsters are still roaming the place. The people of this city think uh, seem to think the state army will do something about it. It's bollocks, if you ask me. How the hell are we supposed to deal with a monster like that? What's happened? Oh. Well, fair enough. Hello. Well, now, what are we on about? What? You unhappy with our wares, huh? No, that's not it, but just the prices here are a bit. Fuck up, Buttercup. I'm lucky to have any stock considering that nightmare at the Grand Cathedral. If you don't like it, take your business over to that damn Paramus. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Right. Uh, they're still chat chatting, fuss fussing. Oh, wait, are you new? You are. That Luis is a real ace, isn't he? What an amazing stunt he pulled off at the cathedral, eh? But what if he comes after our place next? Nah, you won't do that. Luis is on our side, mate. I well, he might be right that Luis like won't do it, because, uh, you know, if Luis was to, uh, like, attack one of the lesser tribes, as they put it in the game, well, that means that he's effectively going to lose his support base, because what we've learned previously I is that if... Sanctism isn't a fan of them, then, well, you know, Luis kind of gets them as a follower because Luis is a man of the people as he's positioning himself. If he ever breaks that image, well, then he's going to drop in popularity very quickly, isn't he? Dear me! Hello, I just want to see what you got. Vitality pendant. Can we talk? Okay. I kind of want to see more about it. No, I'm not going to buy it when I don't have any details. Hello. 
The whole cathedral business has brought in a lot of customers. I've had no choice but to stay open. What will you have? Is you the one who sells Badu meat? Yeah. I already have two, so I don't need to buy that again. That's fine. Keep working our way down here. You won't believe what I saw when I was setting up shop. The human from the Grand Cathedral thrashing some folks. There were these people fighting it. I couldn't see them up close, but they weren't a regular army, that's for sure. I fought it with a magic stranger than the human itself. You could transform into these things. Uh, I'm just trying to buy some vegetables. I didn't know they came with ghost stories. <laughs> that's a good one. Okay. Uh, you got some blue cheese, one per customer? Well, I'll we'll buy it. Thanks. Much obliged, my good man. Come back again anytime. We got some blue cheese. Um, okay. Well, that's fine. Come back tomorrow. So each day he's gonna have blue cheese for us. What? What is it? 150 HP. Okay. I mean that's fine. It's not incredible, but it's fine. Stay there. Hey, did you hear? It appears the incident of the human has finally been resolved. This is Yes, and am, am I ever glad about that? Been rather suffocating. What with all the guards constantly around here? More than anything, it's a relief that the night market is safe now. You've said as much yourself, but it's quite lonely without its uh, liveliness. Okay, move along here. Okay, I didn't mean to leave. I just wanted to go around the end of the stall so I didn't miss anything. Right. Down here, nothing over here, over this way. Hello, you're the shop who wouldn't sell to us, right? Oh there. If you're interested in these herbs, sorry, but I only sell to my regulars. Do you know Grius? <laughs> Grius, don't tell me. Are you the one that's been hanging around the honeybee lately? One of his friends, truly. I come from the same town as Fabienne, so Grius and I met a long time ago. Man helped me countless times. It's quite sad to hear of his passing. Though I think that deep down he always knew things with him would end up like this. Anyway, I couldn't possibly turn away a friend of Grius, so you looking for some of my red grass? As much as you like. It's uh, fi 150 weaver piece or four for 500. I'll take four. Can we talk? Yeah, I'll have that. Although I do like the way she phrased it. It's like, can we talk? Are you going to spend all of our money on some herbs? And I'm like, yes. Yes, I am. Thanks. Wonderful. Right. That? That's fine. Oh, and then... Yeah, that's fine. He's already oh. finished his stuff. No, right. So we cleared all of this, and cleared all of that, and you don't have anything new. We have to check the last area for anything, and that's also where Brigitte is. Which will then let us do Brigitte, Brigitte's one, and then that will pretty much have cleared everything. Last Wonderful. Me. I'm just oh, hello. <sighs> the Royal Army took back the Grand Cathedral, but I've received no word about my cousin. I've no doubt he fought honorably. He must have. Mm. Okay. Hello. This is the pits. Now you won't believe it. Apparently there's some idiot scammer about town who's been a real handful. A guard just stopped me and asked if I was the crook. Look, I'm absolutely sick of people assuming the worst of me. Just because of my tribe, I asked the guard if he would have treated a songstress like that as well. Well, my apologies, kid. Didn't mean to saddle you with all that, but no other tribe would even listen to my complaints. <laughs> hmm. Okay. So she's standing outside. <laughs> Nothing here. Nothing here, nothing here. I think we're pretty much good. Oh, one more. Hello there. <laughs> Greetings, Zelda. How does the world outside of the city fare? More pressingly, from where did you travel? Oceana? Or Montario, perhaps? I do envy your ability to leave the city. Every single day here, I must lay my eyes upon the same old faces. And they're all so very foolish. Every single one. You know what? You're, you're good. We, we won't kill you in the revolution. Right. Moving along here. Let's speak to Brigitte. Hello. Now, I wonder what she's going to give us. Because Hulkenberg gave us something that was useful in combat when you have Hulkenberg in the party. Brigitte isn't in the party. So, is she just going to give us something that makes merchants better? Or is she going to give us something more? Let's see. Ah, just you. Ah, so it's you. You seem unscathed. So you haven't told anyone about it. So be it. You and I are collaborators now. Well then, shall we discuss your assignment? I'm in. Now then. 
All right, come in. Now then. That's a, that, that's a dog. You brought me here to look at a dog? I mean, I can look at a dog, but... Okay. This is what I want you to handle. I want you to feed it, play with it, and generally take care of it until I return. Listen. There's one rule, however. You cannot let anyone else find out there's a dog here. No exceptions, no mistakes. Is it actually some vicious monster? What? Is it actually some vicious monster or something? No. No, it's as weak and pathetic as it looks. Harmless. <laughs> I'm sure you're aware of the antique igniter crowd around here. The fools who believe igniters will destroy the world. Even beyond them, there are plenty of people in this world who would jump at the chance to do something crueler than kill me. Woof. That's why... This thing is a weakness waiting to be exploited. So, I have to hide it. I'm trusting this matter to you. Why me? Why? Why are you asking this of me? You. Because you are as far removed from my business as anyone could be. In case it bears saying, don't even think of crossing me. Being associates has worked for us so far. You don't want us to be enemies. That's right. Her name is... No, never mind. Call it what you want. I'm not really sure why, but I've been trusted with taking care of Brigitte's dog. Hmm. It seems strangely attached to you already. I see now. I suppose you do have some surprising skills, such as using magic without an igniter. Oh, is she just giving us a little disarming task so she can ask us some hard-hitting questions? Why do you know that, or did you look into me? These are the same question. Did you look into me? Why? Did you look into my background? Utterly naive. If it could impact my igniter business, it's my job to know about it. And that's not all. Where does it had it that you and your entourage can transform your bodies for combat somehow? Speaking of... Long ago, there once existed an ultimate magic. They say the Hero King of Legend wielded a power very much like yours. <laughs> ah, though I sincerely doubt you'll be following in his footsteps. You. I'll be frank, Grim. You're bad for business. But that is precisely why I'm going to lend you my power. I'm selling igniters because they turn a profit. But I hate the damn things from the bottom of my heart. <sighs> but this is a world dominated by igniters. As long as you've got money, you've almost all the power you want. Quite a pitch, isn't it? Those on top make a lot of profit off of bleeding the downtrodden dry. The strong get ever stronger and the weaker when he cast even further down. As it is. My own hands are not bloodless in that, and so I will endeavor to help you break this wretched wheel. If nothing else, it'll be amusing, no? I can sense Brigitte's faint expectations and trust towards me. Rank up! We are now rank two! Yet still they oppose me. Yeah, so we don't get any combat bonuses, you just get this so far. Reduced cost of studying merchant. Okay. Farewell. You should go home for today. I'll give you your pay. Done already? Huh? Already? That's all you want me to wanted That's all you want me to do today? <laughs> You've exceeded expectations already. You made the dog like you. Something impossible for me. Oh, thanks for the money. We did actually get paid for that one. Until next time, we'll be waiting, or at least the dog will. And there's our mag. Time marches on, and the age of a new king draws nearer. Okay. Evidently. A group of corpses was discovered in the Tradia Desert. Tra travelers aiming for the royal capital, it seems. You're right. There's certainly a lot of monsters out there. Mm. How tragic for them to meet their end so close to their destination. Exactly. We received a request at the recruitment center, did we not? Shall we slay the monster ourselves? Okay, cool. I do like those bits. They add a lot to the game, actually. Well then. Just a little bit of a... Um... Like, a little bit of a recap about what you need to do. That's something that's just, uh, like, it feels like it fits in, right? 
we got the thing yesterday, and then it's like, hey, maybe we want to do it today. Now, I don't know whether, you know, 50 hours into the game, I'm going to be like, just shut up about that thing. I got it 10 days ago, but we're not doing it for another five days. So if you tell me about it the next five days, I'm going to be very cross. I don't know if it's going to turn into that sort of thing or whether they have a lot of these. Because I feel like if they have a lot of these and it can be recontextualized for a lot of different things and they can have more to say about the story, that, that I think is a really cool way to just make the grind of each day feel a little bit different if they can offer like little suggestions, little things that you could do, a little bit of lore here, a little um, quip there. I think it's kind of cool. Aye. Ah, so now we have Stroll who wants to speak to us. Okay. Also, let me just check something here. So can I hang out with Hulkenberg today? I don't think I can. Hello. Truth is. I'm checking to see if my contacts and the guards have any threads on Luis to pursue. Next thing though this is, we've not to do but wait for word. Why don't we take him a bounty perhaps, make a little extra money for our journey. Ah, okay, so. You cannot just spam your way through bonds like you can with social links in Persona. Or at least not these bonds. Um, these appear to be uh, story locked uh, to a degree. Okay, I wonder whether they're all story locked or whether it's just certain ones that are story locked. What now? Interesting. Okay. Well, cool. So, that probably means that our plan on our calendar is stroll, then... If we check Traveler's Voices. Yeah, so we spend time with Stroll. Then we're probably going to go to the Tradia Desert. On the next day. And then probably just increase our stats. So Stroll, Tradia Desert, and then three days of increasing stats. Assuming that this day you can even increase stats. Which I assume you can, because normally, or at least by the way it's suggesting on this day you would uh, go to the cathedral or you could go to the cathedral so yeah you must be able to increase stats so like yeah stroll desert three days of increasing stats this we get no bounty cool anyway i'm gonna end the episode here thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time goodbye